Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials. Some gun dealers are questioning a report linking the source of firearms to crimes in Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, state officials are getting a pay raise thanks to inflation. Heinz is back at Akersher Stadium. Plus, the Liquor Control Board report has found Pennsylvanians preferred liquor. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a Piet. Brady, a national nonprofit dedicated to bringing down gun violence, released a report titled, quote, Uncovering the Truth About Pennsylvania Crime Guns, reports the Tribune Review. The report found that just a fraction of the thousands of gun dealers in the state represents the biggest source of firearms linked to crimes that occur here. The report additionally highlighted how the majority of gun dealers are law-abiding and responsible business owners, with only, quote, about 5% of firearm dealers responsible for about 90% of recovered crime guns. There are some gun dealers, though, that are questioning Brady's findings. Says one, quote, there are probably a few bad apples who are selling guns not by the law, and they should have their licenses pulled to be prosecuted. But it looks like these guys are trying to pin it on legitimate dealers. Says another, quote, they're pulling data out of context. The majority of crime gun suppliers are found to have been in the Philadelphia and Pittsburgh metro areas. Inflation has raised the dollar amount of pretty much everything, including, evidently, how much state officials make, reports the Associated Press. Hundreds of Pennsylvania state lawmakers, judges, and top executive branch officials are set to get a 7.8 pay raise next year, which, for many of them, is the biggest pay raise seen since the 90s. This percentage is tied by state law to the year-over-year change in the Consumer Price Index recently published by the U.S. Department of Labor. It is also roughly 50% higher than what federal data shows for average private sector wages in Pennsylvania. State officials already got a pay bump this year of 5.6%, a number that was also juiced up by inflation. Here's some news for everybody to catch up on. Heinz is back at Akersher Stadium, states the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Gate C at the North Shore venue now proudly displays the Heinz name above its entrance, as well as on three smaller signs near the Allegheny Light Rail Station. The return of the Heinz is all thanks to a new sponsorship agreement that was finalized in September between the brand and the Steelers, a deal which is said to last about five years. The sponsorship also includes the retention of the Heinz Red Zone, complete with digital ketchup bottles that'll pour out the condom in every time the team gets inside their opponent's 20-yard line. What's Pennsylvania's preferred drink, you may wonder, says PenLive? That would be vodka. An annual report from the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board dove deep into alcohol trends between 2021 and 2022 and found that unflavored vodka led the way in dollar sales throughout the state. In fact, the regular spirits category dominated sales in general, racking up a total amount of $1.66 billion. The report additionally found which counties spend the most on booze, with the top prize going to Allegheny. That wraps up today's episode. Now, since tomorrow is Thanksgiving, there won't be an episode, but there will be one for Friday. Until then, a very happy Thanksgiving to you. May you be filled with great food, loved ones, and maybe, hopefully, even some of that booze the Liquor Control Board mentioned in their report. And with that, I'm Claudia De Niro. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you Friday for more of Today in a Piet. Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials.